So I'm at the idea to prototype demo and tell us who you are and what you've built here. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm Wylam D. Simone. This is our project pedal swap. Yeah, I'm Zephyr Smith. Uh, so basically what we have here, this is our actual distortion right here. This is the circuit. And then this is our, our main chassis. So you can have these interchangeable... And what's this guy over here? This, this is, is another, an e another yeah, this is an equalizer. That's an EQ. That's an EQ. Okay. Yeah. So I should mention as context, the idea behind idea to prototype is to just get some concepts out and start iterating. So this is obviously not meant to be a finished product. You would have circuit boards that you would put inside here conforming to some standard hookup. And then, let's see, so you have these little interchangeable pot things. So these are pots with a little magnet connector. I believe these are from Adafruit. Yep, yeah, Adafruit. Right. All right. So you could have different pots of different values yeah, like this and is a, different are, tapers. These are 1Ks. The black one is 100K. Okay. And then so when you swap in a new board that needs a different set of pots, you can swap the pots. Exactly. And then you're reusing the jacks and the button here. Is this true bypass? I believe yes. so. Yeah, okay. Yeah. It's true bypass. And... You could then swap in different boards. And this is sort of inspired by, there is Devi Ever, who mm -hmm. had an idea called the console. And that product did not fully come to fruition. But the issue there is you would swap the board, but the pots all had to be the same value. So if you're trying to adapt a circuit that had different value pots, that would require some work. But by swapping out the pots, you could... Uh, you know, try different kinds of circuits without having to make a whole bunch of changes to it. Okay, so let's let's do a demo. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so what do you, what do you have? So, this is the distortion pedal with our 100k pot, and so you can see when we when we turn it up, you might have to get closer to him. So here, it's got a much So they, I assume the powers that be don't want you to turn it up too loud. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. <laughs> we don't want to. We don't want right. to. Right. Okay. Then, so I can turn it off. And then if I put in this 1K pot, it changes. Yeah, this is another thing that we hadn't, um, we hadn't talked about. I realized that I could swap to this 1K. This wasn't even the original idea. It was just to swap between the different circuits. But I realized I could swap to this 1K. And now I'm not sweeping between 0 to 100. I'm sweeping between 0 and 1,000. And I can get kind of more of like a... Oh, so just by changing the... Uh... Right, no, just like, by changing the pot value, you're changing the circuit a bit. Exactly. Yeah. So, now, so you can experiment. You can tinker without having to solder, without having to swap the pots out, and without having to know anything about electronics, you can tinker with... Oh, I hadn't thought stuff. about that. So maybe if exactly. you're a guitar player and you've determined for your rig that you have a certain range that's your sweet spot, you could yeah. maybe swap it out for a different pot, or even yeah. Yeah. you could actually maybe even swap it out for like a pot in series with a resistor on yeah, each like end and then you could sort of lock in so you could get a bigger range of control within what you've decided was your general sweet area i guess you could call it yeah and yeah. okay yeah, interesting we realized that like that um i didn't talk to you about is we could keep the same circuit card and get multiple different sounds and dial it in even better because i know a problem for me when i first started was dialing in distortion it's really hard to dial in distortion and so being able to like find okay i know i like 50k to 80k now let's go into there and you can oh, lock into exactly. it exactly okay i hadn't thought about that i know it was, it was a super cool thing to, to kind of yeah see. okay so this de for this demo you 3d printed these uh -huh. Right, and then in the final project, you would, if you actually commercialize this, you would yeah. use injection yeah. molding yeah. or yeah. something like that. Yeah. Uh, the main important thing is I've had a student team for idea to prototype in the past that they, I think they were called modal effects is what they called their company. They had a similar idea where they were swapping out entire circuits. So you'd have distortion and tone or whatever using mag connectors and I remember a big problem they had was sourcing these magnetic connectors but now they're more available so the main thing you're doing here is you're swapping inside here or you would have some other mechanism of swapping the circuits and you can swap the pots around okay interesting thanks guys okay Thank say bye-bye okay